for Jewish American Heritage Month. We'll be reading the story, Thank You, Dr. Salk, The Scientist Who Beat Polio and Healed the World. Words by Dean Robbins, pictures by Mike Dutton. Thank you, Dr. Salk. Jonas Salk watched his neighbors pass by on canes, on crutches, in wheelchairs, the polio virus had struck in his city. Polio stiffened arms, legs, and necks. Some victims even died. No one knew what caused the disease or how it spread. Everyone feared catching it from everyone else. Adults kept away from bakeries and banks. Children kept away from pools and parks. People prayed for a cure but who could stop this terrible epidemic? Jonas knew who. He would stop it. Few saw Jonas as a brave hero. He kept quiet in class. He could not run fast or leap high, but Jonas knew a different way to be brave. It came from his Jewish religion. He dreamed of Tikkun Olam, healing the world. Jonas vowed to stamp out polio. He would do it by reading books, learning math, and training to be a scientist. He needed to think of something no one had thought of before. Something big. Jonas studied science in elementary school, high school, college, medical school. Dr. Salk buttoned his lab coat. He was ready. In 1947, he began searching for a vaccine to guard against polio. And he did it right here in Pittsburgh at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. Scientists make vaccines to prevent disease in the human body. Vaccines had beaten other viruses like influenza and smallpox, but no one could find one to beat polio, the sneakiest virus of all. Jonas filled test tubes, peered through his microscope, and grew samples of the virus to study. He experimented with many vaccines but couldn't find the perfect mixture. People heard about the kind young man trying hard to stop polio. Newspapers wrote about him. TV cameras filmed him. Children even sent him dimes for his research. I want to help too. Join March of Dimes. You can do it, Dr. Salk. We will win this. We are in this together. In 1952, Jonas tried a new experiment, a big one. He grew the three kinds of polio virus in his laboratory, poured in a chemical to make them harmless, and mixed them into a vaccine. Could these harmless polio viruses guard against the dangerous ones? Jonas tested the vaccine on a few brave volunteers, including his wife, his sons, and himself. By 1954, he knew it was safe enough for a bigger test. Two million first, second, and third graders lined up at their schools for an exciting adventure. Polio vaccine trial. Please form line and wait to be called. Thank you. Doctors and nurses came in with trays of vaccines. Parents, teachers, and principals served as volunteers. The children rolled up their sleeves for a polio shot. The volunteers gave them a lollipop, a pin, and a special card. Everyone was proud to help Dr. Salk prevent the disease.
Scientists spent the next year checking to see if the vaccine worked. On April 12, 1955, they had an answer. Jonas joined them to tell the whole planet. The vaccine worked. It beat polio. Cars honked, bells rang, adults danced, children jumped for joy. Salk's vaccine works. Thanks, Dr. Salk. Thank you, Dr. Salk. Millions lined up for polio shots at schools, libraries, and doctor's offices. Thank you letters piled up at Jonas's door. One letter was 200 feet long and signed by an entire town. Jonas did not sell his amazing vaccine. He gave it away for free. He said it belonged to all the people who took part in the fight against polio. Thank you, Dr. Salk. Dr. Jonas Salk watched his neighbors pass by. Adults headed to bakeries and banks. Children headed to pools and parks. They waved at him, and he waved back. Jonas's dream had come true. Tikkun Olam, healing the world. Huh?